All right, so this is gonna be a lot of fun because it's all about taking your design to the next level with design assets. Hello, I'm Paul Tranny, Principal Evangelist here at Adobe, and I wanna show you how you can add design assets like illustrations, frames, elements, overlays to really any design in Creative Cloud Express and how to edit them so they work perfectly for your design. Let's take a look. Here I have uh, this wonderful literature poster that I'm working on, and you can see right over here, here's some icons. Those are pretty straightforward right off to the side. You could add those, but we're gonna to go to design assets because it's so beautiful. Check out the trending ones, retro holiday effect groups, peruse this all you want. In fact, down here we have frames. I thought it'd be fun to add some nice frames in here. So we have decorative glitter. Uh, yeah, just peruse it yourself. I like some of these borders under chalk, right? So I can click into these and maybe find one uh, that might work well for my design. Kind of like this one here, okay, I'll click on it. Notice you will see this icon, this is for premium assets, so if you are a Creative Cloud member, you have access to those. But I'm gonna go ahead and select this one. Here it is, yeah, let's rotate it into place. Rotate it just like so, and check this off to the side, we can edit any of the properties for it. I'll just click Add to Background, bam, there it is. Fit it to the background, if I wanna scale it down, or up a touch, I can do that as well, just to make it fit nice and neat right in there. And I can also add more filters to it if I wanted to say, change the color, do anything like that. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, just adds a little pizzazz to it, but really it's still kind of a plain poster. So let's go back into design assets and uh, let's actually go ahead and do a search on something like book. Let's try it out. See what happens, we get effect groups so we can uh, edit those effects, but I wanna go into graphic groups. So it's really a number of elements in here that we can use. So I wanna use this one right here. I will click to add it and uh, we'll take a look. Here it is, okay? So you notice that there's a photo, there's some other graphics in there. This is a group, so sure enough, off to the side, we could just go ahead and ungroup it. Click right there ungroup it. We could see in my layers panel, it gives me these different layers, but I wanna work on this book right here. So I could also just click on it like so, and I wanna remove the background. So let's edit, cut out, and all we have to do is hit auto. There we go. It's editing for really any image, just so you know, but I'm making sure this fits well uh, with my design. So we'll confirm that edit, and uh, that looks pretty good uh, right there. But I need to adjust the placement of all of these elements as well. In fact, I have these lovely stars. Let's move those up. So they're kind of above the design right there. And also that is a group. And we can change each one of these individually if we want to uh, with filters or anything like that. As you can see, I'll twirl that down. Uh, yeah, sort of I could pick, say, a different color if I want to. Uh, and that's what I'm doing right there. So we'll change these a little bit, uh, just mixing up the color like so, just for fun. Give it some pizzazz, select these elements, and uh, move that up. I don't mind this little bit of overlap because I'm just kind of creating some fun depth. If you don't like that, hey, right over here, these are your layers and you could adjust accordingly, okay? But that's what I've done. I've just added a little bit of pizzazz, uh, made it look a little bit more interesting for this literature festival. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the design assets I've chosen by adding comments below. That would be great. Be sure to like and subscribe for the latest in helpful tips so you can make your best work ever. Thanks for watching.